Hey everyone, Ryan with FilmFad.com here, and today we're doing an unboxing for the uh, Loot Crate June 2016 uh, dystopia theme. Um, what to expect from this? We're looking at some possible Fallout items as been teased by Loot Crate, and who knows what else? So uh, let's get right into it, shall we? All right. Um, uh, Okay, so as said, the theme is dystopia. Uh, first off, we've got we've got a Funko product. It's uh, Dorbs here. This is the Fallout item, as you can see. Uh, looks like it's some of the uh, power armor. Um, we've seen some pop figures, kind of like this, but I don't think we've seen a Dorb yet uh, power armor. So uh, that's item number one. That might be their key item here. Uh, Got some other stuff in here, but I'll get into it. Uh, looks like we've got something for the Matrix. Uh, looks like a little Matrix 300 piece mini puzzle. Um, hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside of it. It's a puzzle. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Not gonna spend this video <laughs> going through and putting together a puzzle, so. Uh, Let's just say it's a puzzle. I'm sure it looks like that. <laughs> um, let's see, a tire. Okay, this is probably the coolest thing here. Um, we've got a RoboCop t-shirt. Uh, Alex Murphy is RoboCop. Freeze Punk. God, I'm a nerd. <laughs> um, yeah, but it looks kind of cool. I do like that, like I, I have been saying for a while that Loot Crate's been doing well with their attire. Um, all right, a Terminator metal tin thing. <laughs> like I said, I go into these blinds, so I have no idea. I mean, it's, what is this? It, it looks like it's just a metal piece. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of thin here. Um, I don't know, I don't know, really. Uh, we've got a blank key from Bioshock. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't. Um, finally, we've got a uh, mini nuke here from Fallout. And yeah, that seems to be it. Um, magazine here. A little bit on the Robocop, but um, yeah, it's a pretty light box this month. It's, it's kind of odd. Um, overall, like, I would say not too impressed with this box, um, but but yeah, uh, it's still uh, Loot Crate dyso uh, Dystopia. Um, tell us what you think. Uh, looks like the Dorbs was the highlight of this, the key. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, this has been a Loot Crate unboxing. Stay tuned. Up next is the uh, apparel line. Uh, level up. So, get ready. Hey everyone, Ryan here with FilmFad.com. Uh, this is the Loot Crate level up line for June 2016 Dystopia. So, um, let's get right into it. Um, Like I said before, uh, we go into these things kind of blind, so I'd, forgive me if I don't know the full. All right, I really don't see. This looks like a possibly a messenger. All right, let's. Yeah, possibly a messenger bag. Looks like uh, this might be a very. Oh, this is Firefly related. Okay, this is probably related to like Kaylee or something, it looks like. So, um, yeah, okay. Not gonna really open that up. We'll get into it a little bit later. Uh, Star Trek socks. Okay, uh, looks like it's more of the Enterprise socks, crew socks here. So, um, yeah, for the Star Trek fans out there. Fallout socks. 
looks like it's uh, power armor stuff right here. So very cool, very cool. Um, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I usually like the apparel line better than the loot crate as of late. Uh, District 9 shirt, it looks like. Um, yeah, okay, so that's the front. On the back here, we've got District 9. Pretty cool. Um, and then the last thing, hold on, let's just get all this out. The last thing is... A Ghostbusters sports tee, um, 84, and you've got the uh, ghost logo on front. So apparel, um, I'm going to open up this because I'm kind of confused about this apparel a little bit. Uh, so you can kind of see some of the stuff here, the Ghostbusters line. Um, Hmm. Okay, and here's some of the wearables. Uh, I guess to everyone, it's your own kind of, I mean, it's it's whatever you're into. Uh, the dystopia stuff, not it's not really a big hit for me, but um, I can still recognize some of the cool stuff in here. The socks, um, the Firefly bag here, that's kind of cool, but I think the most is probably this Ghostbusters tea right here. Uh, yeah, that's probably my favorite. But, yeah, so that's about it for Loot Crate. Um, this has been the Level Up line, June 2016 Dystopia. I'm Ryan with FilmFad.com, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. All right, everyone, next up is the Loot Anime Unboxing. Uh, this, this is sponsored by Crunchyroll. Um, I am not an anime person so just keep that in mind as we're doing the unboxing so uh, you could probably tell me more about what's inside than I can at times so uh, let's get right into it all right we have a few things here I'll start with um, looks like it's a cool change water bottle uh, it's from Eternal Summer. I think I've heard of this before. Um, let's see the quality of it. I mean, it's, it's a water bottle, so. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if this is like some of the top quality ones, like uh, like you see, like that are that keep things super cold. But um, but yeah, it looks like it changes colors, so you can actually see the characters as it. Um, gets cool or heats up so it's a uh, temperature based all right so that's the first item in here um next okay i do know what this is um this is one of those splatoon creatures from uh the nintendo wii u it's a stuffed figure uh <laughs> looks like kind of a carnival toy or something like that so um yeah kind of i don't know <laughs> I know Splatoon, but I don't know it that well enough where I'm like, ooh, Splatoon, super excited. Uh, all right, we've got a t-shirt here. Uh, the front, very minimalist, but on the back, we've got Sahoku. Sahoku. Don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, next up, we've got a loot anime trophy pen all right it's a signature among the loot crate things um i am a comic book guy but i am not a manga guy this looks like it is yawamushi petal um for the love of all things otaku anime video games figures you name it power pedaling um has been conquering the steepest slopes 90 kilometer round trip um you, you know what tell me about this i am uncertain i don't know what that is i'm sorry i'm so clueless on this um next we have oh a freeze luggage tag 
Yeah, it's definitely a luggage tag. Uh, good luck getting that past TSA. Um, this seems to be purely a novelty item because if they see that little bit of liquid, I bet they'll be like, nope. And last but not least, we've got, it looks like it's a signature poster here. Um, I don't, let me move this out of the way. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but it is. Uh, very anime-esque. Um, unfortunately, the way it's folded, you see it's got a little bit of damage there, but... Yeah, very cool drawing, uh, very cool art style, so... Um, you know, I don't know how to rank this loot anime box, so you tell me, because I don't know what's really pertinent in here and what's not, so... Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, that's about it. Okay, next up we have the Loot Pets box. Um, this has been a favorite of mine among uh, Loot Crate items. Uh, my dogs seem to love them. They seem like there are a lot of, a lot of good quality uh, products in here. Uh, I think last time we got a cool Kong toy. Um, we've seen some very healthy treats for the most part, minimal on the ingredients, so uh, let's get right into it. Alright, first off you see like the grass display here. Um, a plush hot dog with reinforced stitching. This is from Jack Pacific. Um, I'm I'm not sure how durable this will be. Like, I haven't found one for my dogs that is actually super durable. Um, but, but yeah, we'll see. We'll test them out um, in the product testing and see what they think. Uh, and, of course, they usually have the matching shirt so you can match with your dog. And this one says, <laughs> Welcome to Dogtopia. Um... Yeah, take in a bite of the good life. And I'm sure we're gonna see a similar shirt here as well for the, yep, there's the corresponding little one for your dog. So you can be that weird person dressing the same way as your dog. So, uh, finally we have a dog tag right here. I, You know, I should just bling out my dog and put a bunch of these on him at once and just see what he thinks. And finally, We've got the treats here. Um, Bliss Burgers. So let's go through the analysis here. Uh, calories per serving is 22 calories. Um, not bad at all. So it's uh, beef, sweet potato, mixed uh, tocopherols, um, and rosemary extract. If you remember, I said tocopherols were a natural... Um, a natural preservative, I believe, or, um, yeah, so, something along those lines where it was actually Okay, here we have the incredible Bodhi, and he's going to test out the hot dog toy. Okay, what do you think, Bodhi? You okay, here we have Nolan. Uh, no and Bodhi is out of frame right now, but uh, come here. Okay. okay. So we are trying out the delicious, what are they here, guys? The delicious Bliss Burgers. Okay, so. Here we go. All right, Bodie. Bodie. You want a treat? Okay, we read the ingredients to you, so we're gonna give Bodie one here. Here you go, Bob. Okay, Nolan, come here. You want one? And if you see here, Nolan's wearing the designer Loot Pets shirt. There's one half for you, buddy. All right, and here's your other half. So this was another win for Loot Pets. 
Um, tell us what you think in the comments. Tell us if your pets have enjoyed these as well. And uh, thanks for watching.